The recent damage to the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 pipelines, which run underwater from Russia to Germany, has raised potential sabotage or conflict escalation concerns. The pipelines were damaged in three places, with dramatic gas bubbles rising to the sea surface measuring 100 m in diameter. Mateusz Morawiecki, the Polish Prime Minister, called it an act of sabotage, while the Danish counterpart, Meta Fredriksson, and the country's energy authority, described the leaks as deliberate actions. The Swedish National Seismology Center recorded powerful subsea blasts in the area, suggesting the damage resulted from explosions. European security sources noted that there are some indications that it is deliberate damage, and questioned who would profit from it. The Kremlin spokesperson, Dmitry Peskov, has called the developments very concerning news and could not rule out sabotage as a cause of the damage. The pipeline's owner, Nord Stream AG, has described the breakages as unprecedented and impossible to estimate when the gas transport infrastructure would be restored. The two pipelines, opened in 2011, have been empty since Russia invaded Ukraine, which reduced the flows to zero. However, they have remained full of gas, which is now leaking into the sea, potentially impacting the environment. The situation is particularly problematic because of the current tensions between Russia and Ukraine. President Joe Biden has warned that the US would bring an end to the Nord Stream 2 natural gas pipeline if Russia invades Ukraine. Biden said that if Russia invades, that means tanks or troops crossing the border of Ukraine, then there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2, so we will bring an end to it. However, the pipeline is not under US control, and Biden did not elaborate on how he would keep that promise. Meanwhile, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has declined to take a firm stance on the fate of Nord Stream 2, promising very, very harsh steps against Russia if it invades Ukraine. In addition, Scholz has faced scrutiny over the pipeline, which bypasses Ukrainian transit infrastructure to deliver Russian gas directly to Germany. Some sources suggest that American special forces were behind the pipeline damage rather than Russia, as an act of military sabotage against a potential enemy's energy supply. However, this point is yet to be confirmed or denied by any official source. If that were the case, it would add a new layer of complexity to the situation and raise questions about the implications of such covert operations. Overall, the damage to the Nord Stream pipelines, combined with the Russian-Ukrainian tensions, poses a potential threat to the energy security of Europe and highlights the risks and challenges of maintaining critical infrastructure in conflict zones. In addition, the situation requires a careful and coordinated approach from all involved parties to ensure a peaceful and stable resolution.